The A318, also called Baby Boss, is an aircraft with a seat capacity between 90 to 110 seats. But it was never a top seller. Airbus built only 80 pieces, therefore Airbus introduced no new version of the A318. Right now only Air France and Tarom, the Romanian flag carrier, operates a fleet of A318. But Tarom put its A318 for sale and Air France will replace it soon with new aircraft. Before the Corona crisis, BA had also two A318 and they operated a only business class flight from London to New York and also Avianca retired its A318. But why was the A318 introduced by Airbus, a plane so far away from the original concept? To find out, we have to time travel back when the A320 program started. In the beginning, British Aerospace, Aerospatiale, Dornier and Fokker wanted to work together for a new aircraft with a seat capacity of 130 to 188. But later it was transferred to Airbus. And at Airbus they considered only three variants, the SA1, 2 and 3, from 125 to 180 seats. So the A318 was not really planned from the beginning. The program was launched on 2nd March 1984. They had already 96 orders. But until the A318 was delivered, it took some years. The A318 was a project that started to gain traction when the French president visited China and the aviation industries of China, Singapore Technologies Aerospace, Airbus and Alenia signed an agreement after that for an aircraft which would be smaller than the A319. But the project never saw the daylight because there were doubts about the profitability and China wanted a bigger aircraft and Airbus a smaller one. However, Airbus designed the A318 itself without any other companies later. But the program had from its beginning its difficulties due to a lack of demand because of the 9-11 attacks. And another problem right in the beginning was that the A318 had no advantages like other regional jets. And another problem right in the beginning was that the A318 had no advantages like other regional jets because it was classified the same as the rest of the A320 family. That is a disadvantage because you can't save landing fees like with the CRJs or Embraer aircraft. But now, when we speak of the competition, Airbus faced another problem. The dominant market position and advantages of Bombardier CRJs and the E-Jet series from Embraer that caused a slow sales development. And only a few years later, in 25, they launched the A318 Elite. Why Elite? Because it could fly an elite range up to 7400 kilometers. Probably a desperate attempt to keep the ship from sinking and to collect more orders. But the A318 had some big disadvantages compared to the E-Jet series and the CRJs from Bombardier. Like I mentioned, it was classified in the same class like the rest of the A320 family, which led to higher charges such as landing fees. And airlines can choose between an even smaller aircraft, but they can when they operate CRJs or E-Jets. So you can operate even more efficient with a competing aircraft, but not with an A318. The A318 is also too heavy because of the design which isn't adjusted to a regional jet size. It's like a baby elephant in a group of monkeys. But the A318 was suitable as a business executive or government jet. For example, Turkey operates the aircraft or Jordan. No, not the basketball player, the state in the Middle East. And in 2018, the end came for the A318. In this year, Airbus found a perfect fit. The C-Series. The C-Series operates in the same segment at least the 300 version and compared to the A318, it can also serve with a smaller version. So the days are numbered. Tarom wants to replace its A318 with the MAX 8 and Air France with the A220. Only the business executive and government A318 will eventually keep operating the type.